Uh, it's staying alive by the Bee Gees. You know, it uh, doesn't matter what I'm dressed in, but I know that I'm strutting down that street. Probably things are going well. A little bit of staying alive is always a safe go-to. I've definitely been loving that one. <laughs> Forever New by Cold Chisel. Would have to be Gimme 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 by ABBA. Uh, Madonna, Ray of Light. The Rocky theme. In slow-mo, you know, uh, punch in the air, fists in the air, and um, it's sort of a, a bit of a mantra of, you know, getting a, getting a head in life and, and having a crack. Probably uh, In a Bloom by Rufus. Um, just kind of nice little zone out song. <laughs> I think given I've got the Liverpool shirt on, it probably has to be You'll Never Walk Alone. Just, uh, yeah, just running down the street, listening to that and probably singing to myself. Classic 2000s, like something Spice Girls, Britney, like one of those just old school jams that everybody's like, yeah, that was a good song. Well, I'm probably older than many people who might be watching, but Herbie the Love Bug is probably mine. In the old days, Disney used to have this series of, uh, of movies about a Volkswagen Beetle that kind of have a, had a mind of its own. Now that I work in cars and I've been a Beetle owner myself, I'm a big fan. The Herbie movies and the Love Bug, um, the Sunday night Disney movie and those Herbie movies I loved as a kid. A classic Lion King, although I do think Lion King 2 is definitely underrated. <laughs> Favourite movie would have to be The Lion King. Can't go wrong, on repeat. Probably Lion King. Oh, Cinderella. <laughs> Probably be embarrassing with Beauty and the Beast. As I've gotten older, I like find that Peter Pan, like just the whole story of it, and now that I've read the book, like, would be my current favourite. And then, yeah, as a kid, Aladdin or The Lion King. There's an old version of Robin Hood, like with all animals. Robin Hood and Maid Marian with foxes. Um, I think Little John was a bear. Uh, I remember I watched it all the time. I'd recorded it on the VCR um, back when they were a thing. I'd probably fire a few creative people, um, uh, get some project managers in, and cost up those cabanas and find out how much they're really going to cost. The preparation, the planning. Um, I just plan a lot better and. Don't go out and pump something up unless you haven't got anything confirmed. So I think it all comes down to, it's like any event, you know, the preparation and the planning is critical to a successful event. So um, that's that That would be the piece of advice that I'd give. Oh, fire Festival, definitely don't lie. Just honesty is the best policy and just and communicate. Um, I think they just tried to keep pushing ahead and pretending everything was a-okay and promising the world and not really having an understanding of what they're actually doing. So just be honest. Get an experienced team. Like, don't just plan an event from your house. Actually get people that know what they're doing. I would have got out of there probably the day before they all got out of there. Um, yeah, I probably would have done a runner much earlier. Like, it's one thing to lie to them the entire way and not have the axe, but then it's like, not have the basic necessities that people need to survive, uh, they were they were never gonna get past that one. I think the biggest thing would just be kind of like being being honest and upfront. Um, it sounds like they, they just kept trying to uh, act like everything was good when it clearly wasn't good. I reckon I'll probably make sure there's enough Evian. Um, probably, <laughs> probably avoid a few awkward situations. So we'll probably start there. Um, yeah, probably wouldn't go near the place with that guy in charge either. So yeah, 